Healthy competition does amazing things to the morale of students and children all over the world. And for us here at City TV, healthy competition is what we thrive on, especially when it is healthy competition between junior high school students across the country engaging in some of the best in terms of banter, in terms of questions, and in terms of brain work. Welcome to Best Brain on City TV. This is the quiz contest between junior high schools in Ghana where we get to find out which of them have been paying attention in class and which of them enjoy playing outside on the road. There is so much to come on the show today because we have some interesting schools from, with an international perspective, vying for a local cup. Well, it's going to be fun. It's going to be thrilling. It's going to be exciting as well. This is just a preliminary stage. As you have seen in previous episodes, some schools have made it to the next round. We are going to get into that round where six schools will be competing against each other. After that, three of them will make it to that stage where we give them a project to work on. Then two will make it to the grand finale. It's going to be exciting and I'm going to love every single minute of it. I don't mind if you tag along because you can share your thoughts and your sentiments about the show with the hashtag best brain. My name is Philip Sean and I am your quiz master. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready, let's delve straight into the competition. This is best brain where Knowledge lives. The names of the schools are very foreign. Royal Shakespeare International School and K. Billy Clare International School. Now, let's meet those students who are going to represent their school in the contest today. Hi, my name is Imano Adwasari and I am from Royals of Shakespeare International School. I am here to tell my opponents that they should watch out for the raging fire because we are here just to win and not, and not to lose. Thank you. Hi, Shaida Pinto is my name and I'm 14 years of age. I attend Royals of Shakespeare International. Um, my hobbies are dancing, reading and listening to music. What I want to tell my opponents is that we fight so hard to reach the stage and we are not here to lose but I'm here to win. Thank you. Hi, Chelsea Zikan is my name and I'm 13 years of age. I school at Royals of Shakespeare International School. And my hobbies are singing, dancing and then listening to music. What I would like to tell my opponents is that they should be really careful because we are here to win and we are going to win. Hello, my name is Moton Khadija Tudachi. I'm 14 years old. I attend KB Clare International School and my hobbies are doing artwork. And I have confidence that we will win this quiz because we are KB Clare students and we fly where only eagles fly. And I also know that God is with us. Thank you. My name is Dennis and I'm 14 years old. And I'm from KB Clare International School. And as mighty eagles as we are, we are going to tell our opponents that we are going to crush them this competition and, and win it. My name is Nana Kwame Opointri. I come from KB Clay International School. I am 14 years of age and my hobbies are playing basketball and reading. I would like to tell the other schools to watch out because KBK is coming with straight heat to win this competition and that's our only mission. Thank you. You heard them. They have told you what to expect on the show today. It's going to be very, very competitive, I must say. Well, 
Students, you're welcome. Thank you so much for making time with us. This, of course, is Best Brain. And today, we have to find out which one of you has been paying closer attention in class. You, however, at home can get interactive with us using the hashtag Best Brain. If you have answers, for example, to share, or you are wondering if the questions are a little too difficult for the students, you can share them with us. We'll read them after the show, of course. Well, a few housekeeping rules for the students. Please make sure you keep your microphones on all throughout the competition till I tell you to put them off. Round one of the contest focuses on science, ICT, and math. You have 30 seconds for each major question and 45 seconds for riddles and 10 seconds for true or false questions. Now this attracts three points. You have 10 seconds for a bonus question for which you get one point. True or false questions, of course, shall not be passed on. Well, if you're ready, let's delve straight into round one. <music> Well, let the games begin. Okay, Billy Claire, we're going to kick things off with you. First question. Which of the following statements about a transistor is correct? A. It can be used to amplify current. B. It is similar to three diodes. C, it consists of two leads only. And D, it has three junctions. E. A is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Royal Shakespeare. An atom has six protons and seven neutrons in its nucleus. What is its mass number? A, one. B, Six, C, seven, and D, 13. D. D is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> K. Billy Clare. A record of daily activities on a farm is termed A, labor record, B, inventory, C, farm diary, and D, production record. A. That unfortunately is the wrong answer. Royal Shakespeare. D. And that's your final answer, but unfortunately it is wrong. The correct answer is farm diary. A record of daily activities on a farm is termed farm diary. Royal Shakespeare. Which of the following devices works on the principle of transmission of pressure in fluids? And I'm going to give you a list, and you're going to choose from there. I is water pumps. B is syringes. Or I is water pumps. I, I is syringes. And I, I, I is bicycle brakes. Now your options. A, I only. B, I and I, I only. C, I, I and I, I, I only. D, I, I, I and I, I, I. B. B, you said? B. B for bat? Yes. That is wrong. Bonus for K, Billy Claire? C. Unfortunately, that is also wrong. The correct answer is D. All three work on the principle of transmission of pressure in fluids. That is water pumps, syringes, and bicycle brakes. Billy Clare, which of the following crops is not correctly matched with this, with its group? Cowpea, cereal crop, that is A. B, cocoa, beverage crop. C, coconut, oil crop. And D, cocoyam, tuba crop. A. A is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Royal Shakespeare, which of the following substances is a salt? 
A, HSSO4, H2SO4, sorry. B, NAOH, C, HCI, and D, CACI2, or CL2, apologies. D. D is indeed a correct answer. Cable clear. In which part of the digestive system of a fowl goes grinding of feed take place? Or does grinding of feed take place? In which part of the digestive system of a fowl does grinding of feed take place? A. Crop. B. Gizzard. C. Oesophagus. And D. Provent Reculus. B. B is indeed the correct answer. It's in the gizzard. The grinding of feed indeed takes place in the gizzard. Royal Shakespeare. The parts of a bony fish that are used to control the level at which the fish swims are known as A. Dorsal and caudal fins. B. Caudal and pectoral fins. C. Pectoral and pelvic fins. And D. Dorsal and pectoral fins. C. C is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Shahida, were you not sure about the answer there? <laughs> I was. Well, you have to be on this contest. Moving on. K. Billy Claire. Millions. Reagent is used to test for A, carbohydrates, B, fats, C, proteins, and D, vitamins. C. C is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Royal Shakespeare. In an NPN transistor, the N-type collector is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, thus making the A, base collector junction reverse biased, B, base collector junction forward biased, C, base emitter junction reverse biased, and D, base emitter junction forward biased. D. That's your final answer? Yes. Well, unfortunately, it is incorrect. K. Billy Claire. A. A is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Was that one that you just took out of the hat or you were sure about the answer? Somehow. Well, we'll take somehow since it's indeed the correct answer. ICT questions now. We have five questions per school. Your substantive question, Kaybilly Claire. Which of the following gives the user of a user a log of all open programs? Which of the following gives the user a log of all open programs? A. Start button. B. Start menu. C. Task bar. And D. Title bar. C. C is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Royal Shakespeare. Royal Shakespeare. Which of the following would happen when a user double clicks on a folder? Which of the following would happen when a user double clicks on a folder? A. A, fo a subfolder would be created. B. The folder would be closed. C. The folder would be deleted. And D. The folder would be opened. The folder would be opened. The folder would indeed be opened. <laughs> K. Billy Claire. Dragging a folder from one drive to a window on the same drive is equivalent to A, copy operation, C, cut operation, D, delete operation, and D, move operation. Can you please repeat the question? Dragging a folder from one drive to a window of the same drive is equivalent to A, copy operation, B, cut operation, C, delete operation, and D, move operation. Either options. 
A, copy operation B, cut operation C, delete operation D, move operation. Time is up, unfortunately. Would you like to explore your option of a bonus? D. D is indeed the correct answer for a bonus. Your substantive question now, Royal Shakespeare. The process whereby the computer manipulates data to produce information is known as A, capturing, B, processing, D, recording, and D, retrieving. B. B is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> These students are not letting any question pass by. They are picking up bonuses and substantive questions as well. But I don't know about you at home during the viewing. I hope you're getting a few of these questions correct. Let us know what your thoughts are and those answers as well. Hashtag best brain. Okay, Billy Claire. The stages of information processing cycle under ICT are A, input, output, process, and distribution. B, input, process, output, and distribution. C, input, process, distribution, and output. And D, input, distribution, output, and process. B. B is the correct answer. <laughs> Royal Shakespeare. Which of the following is a problem to computer users as a result of radiation from the monitor? A, body pains. B, dizziness. C, eye irritation. And D, loss of grip strength. C. C is the correct answer. <laughs> K. Billy Claire. Which of the following is a reason for copywriting ICT tools or technologies? Which of the following is a reason for copywriting ICT tools and technologies? A. To avoid distribution of viruses. B. To encourage people to make illegal copies. C, to protect the, the intellectual works of the inventors. And D, to ensure poorer people do not have access to ICT tools. C. C is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Royal, Royal Shakespeare. Which of the following is a bad practice in the usage of ICT tools? A, making or receiving phone calls while driving. B, not receiving phone calls when charging it. C, use of air conditioning to improve dry atmosphere. And D, use of footstools to adjust leg positioning when working on computers. A. A. That is correct. <laughs> K, Billy Claire, to search for information on various topics, which of the following packages is used? A, database. B, Encarta. C, presentation. And D, spreadsheet. Please the repeat the question. The options, the question once again, to search for information on various topics, which of the following packages is used? A, database. B, Encarta. C, presentation. And D, spreadsheet. B. B is correct. <laughs> Royal Shakespeare, if a user places the mouse cursor on one end of a text, holds down the left button and drags to the other end of the text, this or the effect will be A, copying the text, B, cutting the text, C, moving the text, and D, selecting the text. Selecting. Selecting is indeed a correct answer. Things are very competitive in the studio, and I'm loving every single second of it. Everyone has brought on their A game. To all schools, consider the following statements carefully and determine whether the statement is true or false. You have 10 seconds within which to answer. To start off with K. Billy Claire. Two similar triangles always have the same area. Is this true? Or is this false? False. That is correct. 
<laughs> a bit of uncertainty there. We will still take that answer. Two similar triangles always have one same side. Is this true or false? Royal Shakespeare. False. False is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> okay, Billy Claire. Evaluate the following fraction. 31 over 100 plus 3 over 10. Sixty-one over hundred. Sixty-one over hundred is the correct answer. <laughs> Raw Shakespeare. Three over twenty-five minus two over fifteen. Time up, unfortunately. K. Billy Claire, would you like to consider that for a bonus? Negative 2 over 115. That, unfortunately, is not the correct answer. The correct answer is negative 1 over 75. Rather unfortunate than Anakwame. Now, we have two riddles for the schools. And we're going to start off with... Okay, Billy Claire, for your substantive question. Consider the following clues aimed at solving a riddle. Examine the clues carefully and solve the riddles. You have 30 seconds within which to do this. Riddle one. I represent the distance between a point and a line. The distance from the ends of the line to me are the same. In fact, I represent the locus of points equidistant from two points. I divide a line segment with two equal parts perpendicularly. Who am I? A perpendicular bisector. That is correct. <laughs> Royal Shakespeare. Your riddle. I am a positive integer and represents the sum of two pairs of objects. The sum of my digits represents my value. I divide a hundred percent into five equal parts. I represent the square roots of 16. Four. Four is indeed a correct answer. <laughs> Incredible efforts there from the two schools, but when we return, we shall find out which schools have locked which points and which ones are still looking for breadcrumbs. We'll be right back. This is Best Brain, where knowledge lives. <laughs> Oh, it's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant energy in the studio. And I'm excited because we are going to jump into round two. But before we do that, let us find out how these two schools performed in round one. At the end of round one, Royal Shakespeare came through with 31 points. K. Billy Clare came through with 34 points. It's still a very tight race. Just three points separates these two schools. Maybe round two will prove to be a deciding round. But who knows? Let's get straight into round two. 
It's indeed exciting times on the show today. Round two focuses on social studies, English, and religious and moral education. This round requires students to answer within 10 seconds for three points and two seconds for a bonus question. Note, however, that correct bonus answers attract one point, and a point is deducted for a wrong bonus answer. It's a risk you need to take, but it's a risk that could bear some very positive fruits. It's all up to you now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. If you're ready, let's get straight into round two. We start off this round with Royal Shakespeare. Which of the following international organizations is, a, is the largest financial contributor to Ghana's developmental projects? A. Africa Union, B, Economic Community of West African States, C, the Commonwealth, and D, United Nations Organization. C. That is incorrect. Bonus point for K. Billy Clare. D. D is indeed the correct answer. The United Nations Organization. K. Billy Clare, your substantive question. The first political party formed in the Gold Coast was A, Convention People's Party, B, National Liberation Movement, C, United Gold Coast Convention, and D, United Party. C. C is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Royal Shakespeare International. Which of the following settlements is a feature of a, is a, feature of a slum? A, dispersed settlement. B, linear settlement. C, overcrowded settlement. And D, planned settlement. C. C is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> K. Billy Clare. Cocoa production is classified as A, cottage industry. B, primary industry. C, secondary industry. And D, tertiary industry. B. B is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Royal Shakespeare. Pension benefits of Ghanaian workers are managed by A, Bank of Ghana, B, Ghana Commercial Bank, C, Social Security and National Insurance Trust, and D, State Insurance Company. Social Security and National Insurance Trust. Correct. <laughs> For three points. <laughs> Kevin Claire. Private businesses help in developing the nation when they A, increase their profits, B, import consumer goods, C, pay appropriate taxes, and D, produce more goods. C. C is indeed the correct answer. Royal Shakespeare, the main reason for establishing state-owned enterprises is to A, create competition in the country, B, generate foreign exchange for the country, C, generate profits for the state, and D, provide essential service to the public. The question again, the main reason for establishing state-owned enterprises is to is to A, create competition in the country, B, generate foreign exchange for the country, C, generate profit for the state, and D, provide essential service to the public. D. D is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> K. Billy Clare. Landmarks are important features used in finding A, cardinal points, B, compass points, C, direction, and D, layout. C. C is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Royal Shakespeare. The main benefit of tourism in Ghana is that it A, encourages intertribal marriages, B, enriches our culture, C, is a major foreign exchange earner, and D, promotes political stability. C. C is indeed the correct answer. <laughs> Good competition all round. Getting to some more questions for you, K. Billy Claire. Ethnic conflicts must be avoided because they slow down A, economic development, B, 
rural urban migration, C, tribal disintegration, and D, urban rural migration. Please, can I repeat it? Ethnic conflicts must be avoided because they slow down A, economic development, B, rural urban migration, C, tribal disintegration, and D, urban rural migration. A. A is the correct answer. <laughs> now we get into some English questions. Are you ready? Royal Shakespeare. A building in which theatre plays, or a building in which plays are performed, is known as? Theatre. Theatre is the correct answer. <laughs> the main character of a play is known as? The protagonist. The protagonist is correct. <laughs> Royal Shakespeare. The introductory part of a story drama is? Prelude. It's a prelude, yes indeed. <laughs> okay, Billy Claire, the primary function of satire is? Time up. Would you like to try that for a bonus? The primary function of satire is to ridicule. Royal Shakespeare. This is your forte, I believe. A long narrative poem that relates the dead of mighty warriors is known as? The question again. A long narrative poem that relates the deeds of mighty warriors is known as? Epilogue. That's your final answer? Elegy. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Well, it's known as a, an epic. The final answer is an epic. A long narrative poem that relates the deeds of the dead of mighty warriors is known as an epic. Okay, Billy Claire. A story which contains animal character is called? Folk tales. Folklore. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. We'd like to try that as a bonus. Royal Shakespeare. Lots of shaking heads. It's known as a fable. It's known as a fable. Royal Shakespeare. Good. State the setting of the play when Oliver Twist left the workhouse. 19th century England. Well, time is up. Would you like to try that for a bonus? No. <laughs> she says, please, no. The setting is indeed London. The setting is London. Who introduced Oliver Twist to the gang of thieves? Cable Eclair. Charles. Time is up. Royal Shakespeare. The Artful Dodger. Yes, it's the Artful yeah. Dodger. <laughs> to your substantive question now, what happened to Mr. and Mrs. Bumble after the court case? Time up. Cable Eclair. They became poor. They became poor. Okay, Billy Claire. Who killed Nancy? Time up. Bill Sykes. Actually, that's incorrect. It's monks. Monks killed Nancy. Monks killed Nancy. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The correct answer is monks. 
Royal Shakespeare, Religious and Moral Education Questions. Which of the following people was commanded by God to build an ark? A, Joseph. B, Jacob. C, Noah. D, David. C. C is the correct answer. <laughs> Kate Leclerc, who gave the tomb in which Jesus was buried? A, Simon of Cyrene. B, Joseph of Arimathea. C, Nicodemus. And D, Zebedee. Who gave the tomb in which Jesus was buried? A, Simon of Cyrene. B, Joseph of Arimathea. C, Nicodemus. And D, Zebedee. B. B is the correct answer. <laughs> what is the second pillar of Islam? A, Salat. B, Som. C, Zakat. And D, Hajj. Salat. Salat is the correct answer. Claire, on what occasions do Muslims perform the Zanaza or Janaza prayer? Sorry, the Janaza prayer. A. Before a Muslim travels. B. After observing a fast. C. During Friday worship. And D. When a Muslim dies. D. D is the correct answer. When a Muslim dies. Royal Shakespeare. The main reason for the celebration of Udra Festival is for community what? A. Development. B. Preservation. C. Purification. And D. Reorganization. Purification. Purification is the correct answer. <laughs> K. Billy Claire. Which of the following animals provide security to man? A. Goat. B. Donkey. C. Dog. And D. Cow. C. C. C is the correct answer. <laughs> Royal Shakespeare. Puberty rights should be encouraged because it's A, links the youth into adulthood. B, helps the youth to become rich. C, promotes chastity among the youth. And D, makes the youth look more attractive. C. C is the correct answer. <laughs> You can join us with your thoughts at home as well. Did you get any of these questions correct? I would like to know. Which of the Ten Commandments, K. Billy Clare, instructs Christians to, become, to be content with what they have? A, first. B, fourth. C, eighth. And D, tenth. D. D is the correct answer. Royal Shakespeare. Which of the following parables of Jesus teaches forgiveness? The A, unjust steward. B, rich fool. C, good Samaritan. And D, prodigal son. The prodigal son. The prodigal son is the correct answer. <laughs> K, Billy Claire with the final question for the round. Christians who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness are blessed because A, God will be merciful to them. B, God's kingdom belongs to them. C, they shall be comforted. And D, they shall see God. B. B is the correct answer. <laughs> and on that winning note for this round, we call it curtains. But who will end up reaching to the highest echelons and who will be languishing at the very bottom. We got to find out when we return. This is Best Brain, where knowledge lives. <laughs> I always say that the students on this show and the schools in this show bring their A game all the time. The results for round two bear me witness. Royals Shakespeare came through with 34 points. <laughs> Interestingly, K. Billy Claire also came through with 34 points. It was indeed a tied round. What it means is the total 
for Royal Shakespeare is 65, and Kaberly Claire total is 68. We still have a difference of three to make up. Maybe the next round will offer us some respite so we can figure out which of these two teams will make it to the next round. When we return, we try to figure out the brainiest answer for the brainiest task for the day. This is Best Brain on City TV, where knowledge lives. <laughs> Oh man, it's exciting. I love this round because in this round we get to find out who has the brainiest question for their brainiest task. I have a simple question for the two schools. So, Kaberly Claire, who would pick on your behalf? Nana Kwame? All right. So, this is your brainiest task. Shahida, I'm guessing you pick for your team. This is your brainiest task. For you at home, Use the following preamble as a premise to answer the questions which follow. You may open your envelopes now and share the question with your team. Kofi barked at his daughter plucking out the flowers in the pot at the porch. He is a real lover of nature and loves to till the land. Next week, Kofi is desirous of growing a garden in his backyard. He is a salaried worker with a monthly earning of 4,500 Ghana CDs. He intends to use a third of 60% out of his monthly budget for housekeeping for this project. He has saved up the sum of that contribution for seven months. After conducting the soil test, the soil scientist told him he needs two major and two minor soil nutrients. He needs to apply them to the soil. Questions. What do you consider to be the literary device used in Bach? Is till the land an idiomatic expression? Question two, what is his monthly savings for the project? Question three, what is his current total savings for the project? Question four, what two reasons can you give for the loss of soil nutrients? Question 5A. Suggest two major nutrients and two minor nutrients for Kofi. Question 5B. Suggest four methods of applying fertilizer to the plants. You may begin now. <laughs>
You have 60 seconds remaining. Well, time is up, students. Pens down. Time is up, unfortunately. May I have your answer sheets, please? Just write your school name at the top. But let me have your answer sheets now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So I have with me the answers from the two schools. When we return, we shall find out which school performed what at the end of round three. This is Best Brain on City TV, where knowledge lives. It's exciting times on Best Brain. And now, we've had a look at the questions and some of the answers provided. But for you at home, let's find out what the answers from the students look like on the boards. Nana Kwame, if you may. Shahida, if you may. Or who will be writing on? Chelsea. Chelsea will be writing on behalf of Royal Shakespeare. So please put the name of the school at the very top. And let's get answering, shall we? so much. Please put your hands together for them. Well, let's get into the answers from the students then. I'll also be bringing you the correct answers as I have them here. So the first question or the first answer let me just go through the preamble first of all. Kofi barked at his, at his daughter as she was plucking out the flowers from the pot at the porch. He is a real lover of nature and loves to till the land. Kofi is desirous of planting a garden in his backyard next week. He is a salaried worker with a monthly earning of 4,500 Ghana CDs. He intends to use a third of 60% of his monthly budgeted income for housekeeping for his project. 
He has saved up the sum of that contribution for seven months. After having conducted a soil test, the soil scientist told Kofi that he needs two major and two minor soil nutrients. He needs to apply them to the soil so that he can grow a beautiful garden. The questions and answers now. What do you consider to be the literary device used in the phrase, Kofi barked at his daughter? The correct answer is personification. Okay, Billy Clare went for metaphor. Royal Shakespeare went for onomatopoeia. Clearly, both of them had it wrong. The sub-question from question one was, the phrase till the land is an example of what kind of expression? That is an idiomatic expression. Okay, Billy Clare went for idiomatic expression. And also, Royal Shakespeare went for idiomatic expression. So that would be correct for the two schools. What is the value of his monthly savings for the project? The correct answer is 900 CDs, for which both schools, I believe, had it right. What is the value of his current total savings for the project? Correct answer is 6,300 CDs. Both schools had it right. Question four. What two reasons can you give for the loss of soil nutrients? The answers are quite varied. They include soil erosion, leaching, excessive irrigation, overcropping, and surface compacting. The answers provided by Royal Shakespeare, absence of adequate soil nutrients, inadequate fertilizer. Answers provided by K. B. Leclerc, land degradation and soil erosion. Number five, suggest two major nutrients and two minor nutrients which Kofi should look for in his fertilizer. Answers include major nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, potassium, calcium, magnesium. Minor nutrients, chlorine, iron, fluoride, manganese, and molybdenum. Well, the answers here, and the answers on the sheet here are a little different, but the answers that were provided by Royal Shakespeare on their answer sheet, major nutrients, carbon and hydrogen, minor nutrients, potassium, and magnesium, because this is what you're going to be marked on. Major nutrients here, nitrogen and phosphorus, same as on your answer sheet. And minor nutrients here, potassium and calcium, same here. Minor nutrients here, potassium and magnesium. Second question, suggest four methods for applying fertilizer to the plants. We have drilling, broadcasting, side dressing, top dressing, and rigging, which wasn't one of the questions that we brought you. Oh, there you go. Use of artificial fertilizers such as MPK, use of manure, use of crop residue. We didn't get to that one there from the students from K. Billy Claire, unfortunately. So, at the end of this particular round, we will soon get to find out which students took away which points at the end of round three. At the end of which, we'll also figure out which of the schools We'll be making it to the next round. Stick and stay. This is Best Brain on City TV, where knowledge lives. <laughs>It's now time to find out which schools will be making it to the next round. At the end of round three, Royal Shakespeare got three out of ten from the answers that they provided for the examiners. K. 
Kay Billy Claire had seven over ten. <laughs> and so the final scores. The final scores for the contest. Royal Shakespeare emerged with 68 points. And Kay Billy Claire, the winners of today's contest, with 75 <laughs> points. And so those are the final scores for the contest for today. It's been an exhilarating contest. I've enjoyed every minute of it, right from round one all the way through to the end. A big congratulations to the winners of the day, Kay, Billy Claire, to Dona Kwame, to Moton, and of course to Dennis. Congratulations also goes out to you, Shahida, Imano, and Chelsea. Thank you so much for making time to join us today. I do hope you have enjoyed yourself thoroughly because I have. But then to you at home, Thank you for making time with us here on Best Brain. This is City TV and this is Best Brain, where knowledge lives.